Good afternoon to all brothers and friends who listen to us and watch us through different media. Today we have an exciting topic entitled Christ Will Return on a Day of Rest, and that day of rest is September 17th to 18th, 2024. As you will know and on this same channel there are many videos explaining that the Father knows the day and time, and the Father does nothing without first telling His servants. With this, I want to say, my dear brothers, that the Father has revealed the date of His return, the date when the church is transferred to heaven, that many people do not believe, but I am not going to go into whether they believe they do not believe I am going to dedicate myself to preaching the word of the Lord until the 18th. The Lord is going to measure who did things well, who did not do things well, who invented, who lied, and who did not believe after the Lord showed me the day of the rapture in the Bible. That's why all the studies are there. There are also comments, some positive and others harmful. You can do whatever you want, but I really want to thank my group and everyone the people who are joining this wonderful period that we are experiencing in another video, I will explain how the Lord has supported. I will get into the topic of what we have on the screen. Many Christians who keep the Sabbath are doing it wrong simply because in our calendar, the Gregorian calendar has a fixed day, and it cannot be from a fixed Friday to a fixed Saturday. Because the days of the Lord do not work like that. The calendar of the Lord moves through the moon's phases. So, if they are doing this to please God, they must be very upset in the good sense of the word because I will take the example here in the calendar of September 2024, which, according to the Bible, is the middle of the 70th week. We know from the book of Genesis that the Lord made the day, and the seventh is of rest, which has to have a beginning. We find that beginning in Genesis 1 verse 14. This is how we will know the first day of the year. See the studies on this same channel that March 11th was the confirmation of the first day of God in 2024. Based on this, we can say that the Lord has 12 moons that constitute his year. So of those 12 moons, this moon of the middle of the week would be that of Tishri that begins as we see here on the screen on the fourth day here it is new moon is not that it begins on the fourth with the first ray of light. Saw there it is today we have these data thanks to, to technology before we had to wait so if we count here, if we have the first month, day four is day one then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, ten is Saturday. For the Sir, it is not from Friday to Saturday. I am taking this month as an example. That is what every month is like. And it is a Tuesday, our day in our calendar. You realize why the counting made by those who keep the Sabbath is wrong, right? So if you keep counting, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 arrive on the day that the Lord is going to transport the church from the 17th to the 18th in the afternoon to the afternoon of the next day, and that day with the lunar count is the Sabbath. Therefore, if you notice, we are not talking about a Friday to Saturday. We are talking about that in the month of September, that day is a Tuesday. This is the count of the Lord. What happens with the moon when it has 28, 29, 30, and 30 days? The lunisolar calendar, which is the only one that the Lord manages and the only one established by the Lord, does not force you to say that there must be in that month an end on a Saturday, no. At that time when there is a new moon which would be in this case in October in the Gregorian calendar, you have to wait to constitute the eighth month whether it has ended on a Tuesday or on one of our Wednesdays. You must subject yourself to the biblical ordinance that we see in Genesis and in several other places in the Bible, even in Psalms. You have to count day zero as the new moon, and the first rays of the moon constitute day one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, equivalent to the rest they call Sabbath, incorrectly called the day of rest if you realize. As simple as the count that God established of the day 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, rest, from when each month you are going to have a beginning with a moon and it's not going to be day 4. The next day it's going to be day 1. So many people say they want to please God with this. If you're going to please and believe in this, then do it well, as is the biblical recommendation. However, if it were for this reason, I already tell you that none of them would be pleasing to the Lord. Clarify this point, I quickly want to talk to you a little about this day also from September 17th to 18th, apart from all the biblical points that we saw revealed in the Bible, which is also the only month in the entire year that the 17th falls Sabbath day and it falls on a full moon, just as the Lord also brings Israel out of Egypt on a day of full moon and rest and night. We can do that in the Bible, but it will also take us out of the earth on the day of the tabernacle. But I want to go quickly to another point, my beloved ones, to show you, first of all, from here, 
I start for the count from May 18th to 14th, 2028, as they have on the screen here exactly 1,335 days that Daniel 12 talks about, and that ends precisely with May 14th, 2028, forming what is a biblical generation according to Psalm 90, in the words in the parable of the fig tree, referring to Israel that when they see it greening or emerging as a nation, it will not pass. This generation, the Lord is impressive, hit all this, and the last day is May 14th, 2028, when everything has to be fulfilled so that it can be seen coming in the clouds with great power and great glory for all the tribes, as the scripture says, for all the tribes. In the rapture of September 17th to 18th, we will come with him. We return with him because, in this event of the 18th, not every eye will see this event. In the second coming, every eye will see it. This exact mathematics where the Lord is already pouring out his love to the utmost because he does not want anyone to be lost. That is why he is warning. And you do not worry, brother, about me because if you have a good preacher, a good brother, a son of God, perfect, and if you have me as a false prophet does have me as an enemy and as something on the part of the enemy, well, the Lord will tell me in his day what I did here on earth. No person fearing the Lord would do something like what I am doing because I prefer to give an account to the Lord. Sir, to the person who criticizes me, I know all this and I am also happy because if the words of the Lord had not been fulfilled, that many were going to rise up against me, then for that reason I am very calm. And I thank the Lord. Many have decided not to believe this. They will have time until that day. You have to wait. Otherwise, many are eager to come here on the 19th. I tell you the same on the 18th. You are going to come here to denigrate everything that the Lord is revealing, but well, I bless you. I tell you that well you will have to wait until that day, and to the brothers who have joined, I sincerely thank God for what we have achieved in 20 days. 75,000 video views, and we will reach much more because the Noahs of this time had to take charge. Although the Lord has revealed this to me through His written word, this is for everyone who receives it. You have to spread these videos so that out of mercy to other people, he who has to believe will believe, and he who does not have to consider will not believe. There is no problem. The Lord is the one who will measure but I with love I tell you. I cannot preach anything other than this in these last months because my fear is more for the Lord than for any human being. I also want to show you how the Lord is supporting this in the Bible. We find that there will be many visions and dreams at the end of time. It is impressive that there are many people who, after finishing their Bible studies, write to me and call me to tell me about their dreams. Visions and things that impressed my ears were people who had been taken to heaven, as many people have also announced in books that they went to heaven. Of course, they did not have the revelation of the date, but look at what it says. For example, here in the book by Richard Sigmund that my mother gave me, and a sister was just talking to me about this book at the same time. I don't read many extra-biblical books. My mother is a writer, and I have yet to finish reading her book since years ago. But I want you to see that this book is not to be missed. Richard Sigmund where was taken to heaven and describes everything in his book of the things he saw, and the Lord told him this. My people will be aware of it in the days and weeks just before my return, and this is not talking about the second coming because he makes it clear in the book. He tells us that there are things that he also does because the Lord tells them to do them. We are exposed to criticism when one is publicly speaking about this, but we have to do it. So what this man writes here, this brother is warning believers that the Lord will warn before that day as he warned Noah. I have said many times in my preachings that he warned Noah, Lot, and Elijah. There are many warnings before the destruction, and why will he not warn his bride, the beloved church? Of course, he is going to let you know. I'm letting you know so there are people who get confused and say, but if the day and the hour no one knows, it's not that no one knows. Please read the entire paragraph. The Father knows. And the Father does nothing without first telling his servants. That is, it is biblical, brethren. Do not fall into erroneous interpretations and sin through ignorance. I am telling you, with all due respect, to read the complete word of the Lord. The Lord is revealing now. He says I will make you see hidden things we read in Jeremiah 33 verse 3. If you are indeed men of God and the people of God, you have to begin to wake up. There is little time left because this will strengthen you. As the Apostle Paul said, exhort one another. And the more you see that the day is approaching, the day of the Lord. Because we are going to have signs, 
because they are being fulfilled now because it was not for them. In fact, the Apostle Paul said later, My time has come, I have to leave. The Lord had announced the same thing to the Apostle Peter. So we see that it was progressive, and they realized that it was not for that time in the end. The Lord wants everyone to listen to these videos and hear what the Lord is revealing for this time. So please share them. Everyone needs to listen to them. Don't worry if the person believes or doesn't believe. That is in the hands of the Lord. The best way to reach more people is by sharing the video. If we could only talk about it in a pulpit, we would not reach the people we reach through different media. Furthermore, it is not allowed to talk about this topic in churches. The leaders are not trained to listen to this type of teaching. With due respect, I say it. They will always teach you what we are used to hearing on Sundays, service, stewardship, love, and everything is perfect. But there is no this type of preaching in the church. Neither any brother nor any person in the church who can stand on a pulpit is going to preach what I preach here and many of us preach. So obviously, we have to find a way to spread this message from God, and it is not from the pulpits. So, we study every day. Every day, we have a vision, a dream we did not have before. It is remarkable what the Lord is doing because today, we have a study in the Bible based on the scriptures, and we have a date, and dreams and visions support that same date. That is, the gift from the Lord is fantastic. Now why do some believe it and others not? We do not know. The Holy Spirit is the one who convinces believers and not believers. The confusion is from the devil. That judgment is coming on this earth. There is no doubt about it. And it will begin on September 17th to 18th. So I understand all the positions. Someone who is very confused. Brothers who are just starting to read the Bible. Brothers and sisters who have always they have been directed. Brethren who are left with the day and the hour. No one knows, not only brothers but pastors, although lately there are pastors who are awakening, pastors who are believing in the message, pastors who are seeing, that the Lord wants to revive His people, then you have to be the one who listens to this message, you have to be the new Noah because you can distribute or reproduce these videos so that they reach more believers. Some people don't talk about this for fear of rejection or not being believed. It is not your problem if no one believes you or they reject you. The Lord has a purpose and leave the rest in His hands. We have this time for the wondrous revival of the Philadelphia Church, which will be raptured. Don't worry about the others. Look at a pastor who has been there for 30 years and is perfect. The Lord is going to measure him by those 30 years. The pastor does not have the absolute truth because he has been in a church for 30 years. I want to convey to you, brothers, that you spread this information because this is an award for you. If you are listening for the first time, start with the correct interpretation of Daniel 9 verse 27. That is the backbone of all the prophecies that the Lord gave us because it is chronologically positioned what Daniel says with the end. The only prophet he named was the prophet Daniel because Daniel is precisely where he is hidden on the day of the rapture, and that date was hidden until the end. Daniel would not know the times and the seasons because this revelation is for the end-time generation. As the book of Daniel also says, it would seal the prophecy because it was for the end of time. Still, the preachers still need to remember this. I say it with great affection and respect to all pastors who have dedicated their lives to the Lord, but you need to wake up and start seeing the times we are living in. I am not saying pastors who do not believe in the rapture or who believe in the rapture in the end because there they will not have any warning, the stars will fall from the sky, that is, they will have all the warning. Stars will fall from the sky, sun and moon that do not shine anymore, and then the sign of the Son of Man will appear. Here we are coming with Him. The Lord is coming with His angels. Some versions say those of us who were caught up will come with Christ. That is where the Lord puts His feet on the earth, according to Zechariah. The millennium begins on May 14, 2028, which is precisely the day that the Lord will return. In other words, if you do not leave on the rapture timeline, you arrive with your death at the end of those 1,335 days, as we see it in the Bible, or you are a survivor of the nations, as Zechariah speaks, which is very difficult. Yes, because we see that there is going to be tremendous mortality and many deaths. And he says that Hades followed him, which makes it difficult for there to be much hope of being alive at that time. But the Lord does not want you to go through that time. He wants you to be there on the 17th with palms in your hands as Revelation speaks. That's the day you have to be there. He gathers the fruit of the earth, says Leviticus 23 verse 39, and in the Feast of Tabernacles. 
The Feast of Tabernacles is the only feast of the millennium as named in Zechariah. You must wake up. Watch the videos in the playlist, make your chronological timeline, and see if you're really going to keep half a sentence of the day and the hour nobody knows. Don't let yourself be fooled anymore by lazy people who are destroying the gospel because they don't want you to know that this is over. There is an end. I read all the comments and listened to all the situations that exist. Sometimes, I don't even respond, but I leave the comments there. I delete many of them because they are disrespectful, but I leave them there for all to see the condition of some Christians. I thank God for everyone who is listening and believing. Unfortunately, all this is being done outside the pulpits. Without further ado, I want to share this with you. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Remember, keep what's good, discard the bad, and keep learning. Salvation depends on the knowledge of the truth. See you in the next session.